We have quite the event coming on April 8th, a total solar eclipse and here in the tri state, especially in the path of totality should be happening at around 310 308 ish there in the afternoon. The key though in watching this event is number one. The forecast needs to work. We will obviously look at that as it gets closer, but it's also making sure you're in the path of totality if you really want to get that like darkening sky, the full effect of it and that main path it's just barely here in the tri state, but there are some towns that are included. If you're not in that full path where it's like between 90 to 95% or even a little bit higher, it'll never like fully get dark outside. So location is everything. And also just how long this is going to last. The, the whole event actually kind of lasts for almost two and a half hours um, because it goes from partial to full, then back through the partial phase. But to get that true total eclipse. You want to be right there near the center of totality. It lasts for about four minutes if you're on the central line. As you get farther away from it, the amount of time in totality gets shorter and shorter. But obviously, there are portions here in the tri-state that are included, which is exciting because you can get into that. Obviously, the farther you get in, the longer you're going to get to enjoy this. So, I mean, just look at some of the times that will be in totality. And again, this is around 308, 310 there on um, April 8th. Batesville at three minutes and three seconds. Connorsville, I mean, you, biggest, biggest bang for your buck right there at three minutes and 45 seconds. Oxford, just there shy of three minutes of time. But like getting closer even into like Butler County, We've got some great windows of opportunity there in Indiana. Better look at like Liberty, three minutes and 32 seconds. Columbia, three minutes and 42 seconds. So, I mean, there are some opportunities here in the tri state where you don't have to fully leave, but just know that you're going to be facing some crowds in totality. Uh, looking up into Butler County, not as much viewing there, but still, like if you're in Ross, you still get a minute and 20 seconds, or you're in totality, seven mile at two minutes and 15 seconds, and Springboro at a minute and 40. Of course, the key in all of this is the weather forecast has to cooperate and give us enough clearing in the sky to see this. But again, this is coming up on April 8th and fingers crossed the forecast will work out for this one to view it.